I, I want to say something to all the people who come to Western. You know, at the beginning, everybody gets scared. Uh, everybody feel like that they don't know who to talk to. You know, there are a group of people talking, hanging out with each other. You feel like you're alone. You feel like you, you cannot do anything here. You know, you, you, you get isolated sometimes if you don't talk to people. And once you start a conversation, maybe that person is feeling exactly what you're feeling. So you will be able to connect with them. So I want to tell everybody to just talk to each other and help each other if you can. I am Yadav Sapkota. I'm graduating uh, as an associate in science. My childhood in Nepal, well, I was born as a refugee in, inside the camp. And the camp is a small uh, area that's isolated from the local area from Nepal because we were refugees, so we were kept in a different uh, areas uh, to Nepal. We didn't have like basic things that people had in, in America, like TV, computers, uh, electricity, or anything like that. So my childhood was pretty simple, just go to high sc uh, school, come back home, help my parents like get water from the water tap, uh, go play soccer with friends. Uh, they, our, in, inside the camp, we didn't really have anything that we could grow like like fruits, uh, like mango and stuff like that. So we would go to local areas and trade them with the rice that we had, and or sometimes just steal it from them. We didn't, if we didn't have any rice or anything to uh, exchange, we would just steal it from them. So that was just my childhood. In 2007-8, there was this rumor that people are gonna be. Uh, taken to different countries in, in Europe and in North America, like you know, in America, Canada, and people didn't really believe that first. But eventually there is this organization called IOM and they started, they came to the camp and they started like, you know, taking people to different countries. And my cousin's girlfriend uh, decided to come to America, just randomly. And the, the organization who was taking us to different countries just say like, you know, they randomly chose her to come to America, uh, Roanoke City. And my cousin decided to come uh, follow her and come here too. And then eventually my grandparents, my mom's uh, parents, decided to come here too. And then we followed my grandparents and we came here in 2011. We used to make jokes saying that America is 30 minutes from heaven. So that was the biggest description we could give. Heaven is like something, you know, so great. And we would hear things like, uh, you can just walk in the street and find iPhones, computer, laptop, just laying on the floor. People are so rich. When I thought about America, it was just New York City, downtown, Chicago City, downtown. That was my perception about America. We arrived in Roanoke um, the airport around 11.36 p.m. So it was nighttime. Some of my relatives came to pick us up. And that was the first time I ever ride in a car, actually. I had never ride in a car before coming to America, too. I ride in bus and stuff public bus and at night time I didn't really see anything I could not sleep all night because it's America finally the dream is like true so I woke up early in the morning I came outside and I was like oh my god I'm so disappointed that was my first first like and I was just disappointed I looked at this old uh, three uh, three floor building uh, which is like really old and I'm like this is America like like I did not think that was gonna be America I, I thought America would be this tall 65 floor buildings and like you know looking beautiful and I, I looked around and it's just a bunch of buildings that same as Nepal's building now I was very disappointed like I did not think America would look anything like that I went to some malls like Tangled Mall and everything and I looked at it and I was like yeah this looks like America now you know it's kind of fancy and everything and they showed me school before I went to Petrocan they showed me and I was like this is massive this is so huge this school is so big I mean my school was just tiny back in Nepal so I was already nervous and I wanted to make a first impression. And this uh, lady from Patrick Henry uh, took me and we started talking. I mean, she was saying some stuff. I had no idea what she was saying and I was trying to say something in English. And I said like, you know, how do you take attendance in, in America? Like, you know, how do you make sure that students are in class? Because that was a big deal back in Nepal. And she had no idea what I was saying. And I was like, you know, attendance, do you know how you take attendance? Like I was trying to be clear, but she had no idea what I was saying. So she took me to the third floor and to one of the classroom and there were like a bunch of Nepali people. She called one of the Nepali from there and we came outside and she had been in America for five years. So she spoke English well. And she was like, you know, she told me to translate her and then all the translation happened. I was just embarrassed. I was like, you know, 
I was trying to impress that I can speak English without help, but it was embarrassing. I went to high school for two years only, so uh, I was just learning about how American school system works, because back in Nepal, you didn't have to do anything. My parents did everything for my brother. So here, everything was by, just by myself, because my brother doesn't know anything. My parents don't even speak English. All my family members, most of them don't speak English. So I had one cousin who was going here. So I learned a little bit about uh, Western from him. And then on May 25th, I heard a speech by Dr. Sando. And he seemed like a very interesting guy. Like, it, it, it made me feel comfortable Like when I listened to his speech. It made me feel like maybe I can go to this place. Like, you know, he's the president of a college, and he's talking so friendly with people. He's walking around and handshaking with people. I was like, this, that made me feel comfortable. And after that, I learned a little bit more about Western. And it's, it just felt more comfortable to come here because my cousin already knew so much about it. And he was doing well in, in, in this college. So I was like, if you can do it, I can do it too. Within two years, I, the biggest thing I got from Western is the confidence and being able to ask people for help. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing I got. I mean, when I came to America, I did not even speak English. So, I mean, if I had given up in the first place, I would have never been in where I am today. If I had thought that college was not for me, I would have never been in this place. You know, I tried, I, I came to college every day. I, I worked hard, you know, I, I, I got really low score sometimes, but I still, I did not give up. I didn't think that those numbers really matter to me. What mattered was I was working hard. I was learning something every day. When I go to college, there's something new that I know. You know, discovering. I, I always discover something new in college. I think that's, that's all about, that's what college is about. You don't have to just have a straight as and graduate from college. As long as you come here and work hard, I think everybody is able to succeed. If you try hard, if you work hard, college is for you. You should definitely come here and study. There are so many helps you can get. Every, at every corner, there's someone who's sitting there just waiting for someone to ask a person so they can help. I mean, no one's gonna just run towards you and, and tell you that, that there's help everywhere. You have to give the first step towards them and there will be someone at the end of the door to help you out. I mean, when I first started college, everything was just learning. I had to learn every single thing, even going to Chapman Hall or going to library. You know, those are things I had to learn from someone else. And if I had just sat there feeling nervous or feeling like I, could, I cannot do it, I would have never learned those things. But I, I, I stepped forward. I, I crossed those boundaries, you know, those, those things that, I, that was keeping me inside. I cross those. Like, you know, once you cross it, it just becomes easier. So the first thing is that you can make mistakes. You can come to college and fail one or two times, even three times, four times. It doesn't matter. As long as you keep trying, at the end, you will succeed. So college is for everyone. You can do it.